What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. It's been a long time since we've been at Copart to do a walk around, but we're back in Oklahoma City to do a walk around. And the first one on my list is of course the thumbnail, the 2013 McLaren. Let's take a look. This is a 2013 McLaren MP4 12C Spider. So the roof does retract or come off. This car has a little teeny tiny 3.8 liter V8 that produces 616 horsepower and is capable of zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds and yes this is an old a very old mclaren it is 10 years old and those are some phenomenal specs even for today uh for 2013 absolutely crazy i love the color it is a really vibrant orange i hope it comes out on camera it uh might have a little undercarriage damage looks like it kind of drove right up over something if you take a look down here you'll see that uh there's definitely some stuff going on underneath the old girl the good news is i don't see anything leaking out from under it at all so things up front would be your brake system that i would be concerned with hydraulics the engine of course is in the back we're not going to mess around with that because they've got all these parts taped to it but you do have that beautiful cover back here where you can well you can almost see something from this vantage point let's take a look under the back she's got damage all over so this poor car really went off-roading let's take a look underneath back here Ugh, there's the business end of things right there guys oh yeah she's missing a few pieces i think but again the good news is looking at the suspension I don't see any damage back here at all, really. I have no doubt there's some structural damage, but this car could be put back together. I would almost, almost bet that you could drive this thing down the road without doing too much work to it. I notice there's a lot of gap issues. There's a pretty huge gap right there. You got more gap issues here and here. This is okay, this is okay, major gap there major gap there and i noticed there's some writing on the side it says wheels not torqued don't drive over five miles per hour parts are not on a hundred percent so apparently they've had to take some of the body components off particularly up front here you can see where things are are not lining up good and uh, they are not put back together perfectly normal insurance company wants to know the damage once they realize the damage has exceeded the value of the car or 50 percent of the value of the car in this case of oklahoma uh typically it goes in for salvage at that point the insurance company is not going to want to pay a bunch of money for your labor to put everything back together properly they do want it put back together so it looks good in auction photos but aside from that there's going to be some work to do this is a beautiful car i don't think we can get in because well everything is taped up on this i was really hoping i could show you a little bit more of this car this car right now guys the bids are at $29,000. As of the filming of this video, $29,000. That is absolutely ridiculously cheap for this car. I'm not gonna lie, I do have my eyes on this one. I'm seriously con uh, considering going ahead and throwing a bid or two on it, depending on how high it goes. But if it's somewhere around the 30s, 30, 35, 37, all day long, all day long, I shouldn't but I absolutely will. Next on my list, it's not nearly as exciting or entertaining as a McLaren, but it's a 2019 Chevy Trax. This is something that most people can afford, and since it's going to be salvaged, well, it's gonna make it a whole lot cheaper if you're willing to take on the damages and live with a branded title. This has 58,194 miles. It's got a set of my favorite tires ever, Ling Long. I love the Ling Long tires. Ling Long love you long time. Ling Longs and what are they? Iron Hearts or Iron Mans? <laughs> they got some crazy names out there, guys. This honestly doesn't look very bad until you get to this side. But I'm over here looking at them like this is really nothing. I, I'm kind of surprised they told it. I know that it's not an expensive vehicle, so it doesn't take a whole lot to salvage something like this, but Here's your damage, all right? Now you tell me what you could or could not live with. For me personally, if I'm looking for a cheap, you know, A to B, go-getter, family, run-around car, whatever, this is perfect. This right here, this, it's heavily dented. 
So you could replace the hood or you could deal with it. Then, of course, this fender. This right here does not need to be replaced. This could be taken care of, I promise you, with a little bit of filler and a little bit of paint, you could fix that. Hell, you could probably take care of that with a little bit of filler as well, a lot cheaper than replacing the entire hood and the entire fender. Next, you come over here and you've got this mirror assembly, which is demolished. But then again, so is this door. Obviously, you're not gonna live with this. You know, people are gonna cut themselves wide open on this, so you're gonna need to replace this door, and hopefully it comes with a new mirror. If you're lucky, you can find the front and back door in the same paint coat as the rest of the car, so you don't have to worry about painting any of this. The majority of the damage is just these two doors. Now, there is a tad bit of damage that got into the rear quarter. I mean, the slightest little tiny hole right there. You could patch that up. It's going to need some dent repair work because it's right, it's it's high up here, it's low over here. But with a little PDR work and a little bit of filler, you could fill that in, replace these two doors. Then all you got to worry about is a little paint and blending here, and the same some filler, paint, and blending over here. And at this point, you have yourself a low mileage Chevy Trax. I'm not really sure what this is. If this is one of those. Uh, what do they call them? The crossovers. That's what I'm guessing. Kind of a crossover looking vehicle. It kind of looks big, tall, like a minivan, but it's kind of short and narrow like a car. So it's kind of somewhere in between. Not really my cup of tea, but for dirt cheap, I would absolutely drive this thing all day, every day. It would not be a problem. It's got the nice uh, leather style. I don't want to call it leather. <laughs> leather style interior with fabric in the middle it's got nice stitching i love the stitching it's not a bad looking vehicle guys not at all the tires are practically new she's got several little dings and dents all over it to be expected from a you know an older car let's see if she wants to start i don't think there's power to this oh it's push to start i'm looking for the key i'm old school i'm looking for the key no key all right well that's fine we'll just pop the hood this isn't bad. It's probably got a little Ecotec under the hood. It probably gets like, you know, 35 miles a gallon. This this would be, uh, oh yeah, I told you, told you. This would be a great little econo box. You know, get you back and forth to work, get the kids to school, go get your groceries, whatever. Let me grab the jump pack real quick. We'll put it on here and let's see what it does. We've got power. Push to start. Right up, man. I love this little display. It's small, but that is a nice looking display. The resolution, honestly, on this is phenomenal. We could turn all that off. I have no doubt the AC and everything works. It's a low mileage, relatively new car. What? OnStar. Yeah, we don't need any of that either. There's your Sirius XM. Yeah, I, I like this. I didn't, I really didn't think I would like it this much, but in that backup camera. The resolution really is nice on this. It sounds good, it's got a quarter tank of gas. Not bad at all. Give her just a little rev. Sounds healthy. No warning lights on the dash yet. I have no doubt the important window works. It actually doesn't smell. Do we have Express Up? We do. That window works as well. Tinted windows, so it saves you the trouble of having to do it yourself. This is nice. Steering feels good. Brakes feel good. Goes into gear immediately backward and forward. Not a problem. This is decent. I'm going to go ahead and shut her down. There's really not much else to say about this little car other than it's probably going to go pretty cheap. And the damage really is... Whoa. That's from... That's got to be from something else. I don't know what happened here, but that's a motorcycle seat. We've got a motorcycle battery. Oh, I hope... Well, I hope they didn't hit a bike. I hadn't even considered that. That could be wreckage from the accident. Maybe that was a bicycle or a bicycle. Could be a motorcycle's. I can't believe I call it a bicycle. A motorcycle could have gone into this. I hadn't even thought about that. The handlebars... God, I hope not. I hope not. Anyway, there it is, guys. A cheap little Econo box. 
with minimal damage that quite honestly you could fix for probably 500 bucks in an afternoon if you did it yourself. Last on my list, a 2007 Chevy Silverado that from where I'm standing doesn't look bad, but I got a feeling there's a lot more to this one than meets the eye, guys. We're gonna walk around this. I wanna make it clear, I don't have a list and I've decided to go back to doing your three cars. You guys seem to really like the three cars per video, so we're gonna stick to that. You guys commented, your wish is my command, and I'm just kinda perusing the lot. I don't know how well you guys can see, but they have a lot out here, guys. Um, so there's no list. I'm just walking around trying to see something that interests me. You guys know that I have loved these Silverados from the beginning of the channel. I had one towards the very beginning of the Auto Auction Rebuilds channel. I put it back together. It cost me a lot of money. I lost a lot of money on it, but I loved the truck and I enjoyed the experience. Well, this one, first and foremost, she hit a tree. All right, that is, that's tree bark all up under here there's a lot of it too uh i mean she she hit a tree good and hard but there's more to it i think the windshield is completely shattered on the passenger side which leads me to believe we probably have a blown passenger airbag which means probably a blown driver airbag as well um this window is missing or is it hold on is it just no Yes, the window's in there. It just fell. It's one of those that's off track. We got some big tires. The tires actually look pretty good. You got some fuel wheels. They're LT30555R20. We got a 505 toolbox in the bed, along with a bunch of stuff you get to go through. The bed, a little bit of damage. I'm going to assume a tire at some point blew because it tore everything up under there. Not too bad, though. Wonder where the wonder where the tail light went. It's just missing. Well, looks like it took a tiny, tiny hit here. You know, this truck's gonna need a lot to put it back together. There's no telling if there's frame damage or not. There might be, there might not, but the bed has all been out of shape. So I would replace the bed. They're not that expensive and it would make this truck look so much better. I don't think I can fit through here, but I'm gonna try. Oh, I hope I don't get stuck. There we go. All right, this side, same deal. Somebody had taped in LED lights with uh, with duct tape. Okay, she she's a little rough. You know what? I changed my mind. I wouldn't change the bed on it. You know what? Because if you go and you put a really nice bed on it, it's gonna look completely off from the rest of the truck. It's kind of rough, but it looks good that way. Obviously, get your tail lights fixed and all that stuff, but it's a good looking work truck man this is something you could drive back for to work not care about the paint is scratched up heavily looks like they probably took it off road and mud and had some fun with her and you know she's got scratches all down her so again you go putting a brand new bed on the back it's just going it's going to throw the whole truck off you'd have to get the whole truck repainted you got the front that you got to contend with also that's no good it looks like this wheel is cockeyed too. I don't know. She's going to have some suspension, probably some alignment issues. Definitely going to need a tire right there. This front bumper, this front fender, this is all pushed in. Boy, this, this truck's kind of rough, guys. She's kind of rough. She does need a little bit of work. And I wouldn't be surprised if from hitting the tree right there, there might be some frame damage as well. Uh, I don't know. The gap here actually looks really good. All the way down that looks really good so maybe not let's take a peek at the interior real quick and let's see if we do have blown bags or if that window is just just shattered ah nice nice it's just a broken windshield guys no big deal no big deal if it was blown bags then yeah that could be a deal breaker for, for a yeah for a lot of people all right she's not too bad it doesn't smell or anything this would be a great work truck. I'm sure it's got the 5.3 under the hood. Not too shabby. Headliner's good. All right. Maybe we could fire this one up. Let's pop the hood. I think it's already open. Take a peek under here. Vortec. And what is she? Da -da -da -dum. 5.3. I knew it's a 5.3. And look at all the sticks. Like this thing went through a tree or something. Like this thing, seriously, this went off-road hardcore. Batteries, January 23. So this, this truck, whatever happened to it, this must have just happened because it's February the 13th right now. So maybe she's got power then with a brand new battery. 
Oh, we got some aftermarket gauges. Got the white face gauges with blue needles. That's nice. That's real nice. Oh, she's got juice. She sure does. Turn all this off. Got an aftermarket dual head unit right there. All right. Can we turn the volume? Let's just turn all that off. Make sure she's in park. She is 222,000 miles. Oh, she's got a little exhaust to her too. Check engine light came on instantly. Wasted no time. Oil pressure looks good. She's out of fuel. Battery voltage looks good. Steering feels good. The seat is way forward. Somebody very short was driving it last. Brakes feel good. Important window, yes. That window, yes. She sounds healthy, guys. She really does. I'll bring you back here so you can listen to the old girl. They may have just cut the muffler off, I don't know. Oh, the exhaust on the other side. I'm not crawling through that again. She runs great. And no bags blown. I'm kind of surprised about that. Yeah, I don't know how, how this comes out on camera, but to me, these wheels look like they're they're tilted, man. The camber is looking way off on these bad boys. I'm gonna try not to get cut up with all this metal right here, but there's a tree. This thing sideswiped the tree too. This is tree bark, guys. This is wood in the wheels. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put money on. There is definitely a little bit of suspension damage going on up there. Not bad though. Let's see if she goes into gear. Ugh. Backward. Yes. Forward. Yes. Bingo. All right. Not bad. Oh man, look at this. Comes with a free cracked phone too. AT&T phone. You guys tell me what kind of phone that is. Oh, I don't know. But it's free. It comes with the truck if you buy it. Just need to replace the whole screen. Okay, the whole phone, really. Is that not close? Yeah, that just that just won't close. Okay, well, I think that's going to be a wrap for this one. We didn't even need a jump start for it, man. I like the cars that you can just come out here and they fire up on their own. Those are some of the best. Last on my list, guys, an 09 Ram 1500. I'm going to stand here for a minute. I want you guys to really look and tell me if you can see the damage. Okay, you got to really pay attention. I'm looking dead at it. Okay, now we're going to start walking around the vehicle. Comment below if you saw the damage. I'm looking around. I saw some damage, but I didn't see enough to total. And I haven't seen the other side of it yet. This is what's fun about doing these walk-arounds because it's like you guys are doing these with me. All right, normally I see the pictures and I know what, I'm, I know what to expect, but you guys don't until you see the video. Well, doing it this way, I don't know what to expect and you don't either. So we're on a level playing field here. We can figure it all out together. It's just like having you guys with me. There is some damage on this side. Not much though. If this thing runs, this could be, this could be the one right there, guys. Uh, a little damage to the front bumper. Nothing, nothing major, really. Hail damage, lots of hail damage, but you know, I'm thinking work truck, who cares? Fender, you could replace it. Sure, headlight, definitely want to replace that. The tires look way too small and they're dry rotted. Yeah, these are, I think somebody had aftermarket wheels and tires and they threw these on when it came time to send it down the road to the insurance company. A uh, little floppiness going on on the wheel liner there. Um, fender, headlight. This door, a little tore up right here. Uh, you could fix it, but I mean, really, I don't think it makes that big a difference. But I think the biggest cosmetic issue this truck has is this antenna being all bent up. You, you put that on in a mirror, this thing would look a hundred times better. And I'm gonna take you over to the other side. And I'm gonna show you where I saw some damage. But since it looks like these wheels and tires may have been put on after the fact, well, see, that one looks normal. The, what, I, don't know, I don't know what's going on, man. Uh, but these front ones look like somebody tried to put some race car wheel tires or something on it. Make it look, make it look racy. I, it's, uh, I don't know. But this right here, man, that is, that's jacked. 
that is jacked. I'm surprised she's still holding air. Um, she's going to need she's going to need a wheel for sure. One wheel, little damage in there to that wheel liner. Uh, not a big deal. I'm not really seeing anything serious, guys. Let's see what the interior looks like. Anything in the bed? No, nice and empty. She's a little dirty on the inside. No biggie. You can get that cleaned. Smell. Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, it's that's the good stuff right there. <sighs> okay. Well, we were bound to run into one. <laughs> we were bound to run into one that smelled really, really bad. This this one's this one's bad. This one's. I'm gonna open this door too and just kind of let the breeze get through there uh, for just a second. Yeah, it's crazy. It smells. It smells, it's, this one's rank, but the interesting thing is you don't see really anything that you would think that would make this truck smell. It looks pretty clean, but she's got a, she's got an odor to her, guys. <laughs> she's, she's got an odor to her. Okay. For the most part, she's a pretty clean old truck. Not too bad. Some cigarette burns, little things here and there. Got this nice little center. This is clean. Not tore up or anything. All right, this this is nice. Let's put the key in. I don't think she's got power. Oh, it's that's a weird, bizarre key. Oh yeah, she's dead. Five seven Hemi. And did this say it was two wheel drive or is this this four by four? I think this is two wheel drive. No, it's four. She's four by four. All right, even better, man. Even better. You know, the 4x4 has got a stiffer suspension. Everything up front is a lot thicker and a lot stiffer to handle all that extra weight. So you're talking about running it into a, a curb or whatever it got run into. You're better off with a 4x4 suspension under there than you are with a two-wheel drive. There's your 5.7 Hemi. Looks like she might have sprung a leak or something at some point. Or that could be road salt. That could be residual road, road salt that somehow got kicked up. Maybe from holes in the fender liners. That's... That could do it. Everything under here actually looks pretty good. It's it, Oh, that's interesting. It's got an AC Delco battery. That's an AC Delco battery. Okay. Uh, I didn't expect that. Let's throw a jump on her real quick. Let's see what she does. As expected, everything in here came to life immediately. The miles, though. Good Lord. 200 21,709. What do you think the chances are that when we straighten the wheel, we have one wheel that is sitting a little bit off? A little lifter chatter. Hopefully that goes away. I think it did. Hard to tell over that exhaust. So the steering honestly feels really good. Is that wheel even turning? Yeah, that wheel turns just fine. Okay, let's straighten up the wheel and see if the wheels are straight. She's out of gas. Check engine light came on immediately, 62 degrees. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, all right, tinted windows, that window works. This window might, but the button, the button's missing, so kind of hard to tell there. Brakes feel good. Steering feels fine. Reverse. Yes. Drive. Yes. What more do you want, man? She's a mover and a groover. This thing runs and drives, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I wouldn't want to go highway speeds on that wheel right there. But you can get this thing on the road. You could absolutely drive this. This is one you could drive. In my opinion, let me just let me say that. In my opinion, this is one that you could drive. Take a look at this front wheel. It looks straight. Let's move over to the other side. I think the suspension is fine, guys. It needs a wheel and a couple little cosmetic fixes. She runs great. And it doesn't look bad. Either. Hell, that other headlight was brown anyway. Replace. Get a pair of cleaned up headlights. Make this thing look a hundred times better. Give her a wash. Okay, I'm thinking about putting this on my list too, man. I, I, last thing I need is another truck though. Okay, I see what they did. I see what they did. That's the look they were going for. They put these 
normal size tires on the back then they put these tiny little low profile tires on the front to give it a stance you know they wanted to have like a raked look to it that's not how you it's a it's a four x four pickup truck man it's not a race car you're not taking this thing to the indianapolis motor speedway you know what i mean <sighs> so yeah i'd put the right size tires back on this thing this is this is nice this is nice I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down it's way out of gas it smells just just whoo the smell is so bad in here it is but aside from that that can be cleaned up man let me make sure these doors are unlocked yeah it's all unlocked i don't want to be responsible for locking keys and something you know i hate when that happens to me and i'm sure somebody buys this they would just hate to find out somebody locked their keys in this is a nice little truck and it's the last one I want to say thank you to all of you for watching my video and thank you to Copart for allowing me to come out here and make this video for you guys. I appreciate it so much. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button, share the video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.